Hello, I'm James Couture, and this is my introductory video about how I'm going to try and pull off distance learning here in the COVID-19 era. So school's been out for two and a half days now. It's Monday, and we canceled last Wednesday. So I'm going to try and figure out how we can put together something so that you can keep up with school a little bit so you don't forget too much, and also so you can be ready when we actually do finally get around to doing some official Seattle Public Schools district learning. I'm assuming we're going to be doing some kind of packet learning or distance learning or some mix of the both in the near future, maybe next week. Um, and so the idea here is that I'm going to get you started on the units that I would have done normally and that would I will be doing later when we get to the official form of this learning. And so if you do this stuff now, you'll be ahead of the game. I will have kind of pre-credited you for this work and you won't have to make up quite so much when we get back. That'll also free up your time in case we do stay on distance learning for quite a while to do other classes because you'll be ahead of the game in this one. Or if we have to do summer school, which is then you'll have less to do for my class when it's nice and sunny out. All right. So the idea is that I'm going to set up a class that looks basically like my other class. And the idea will be that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, I'll be handing out and taking in assignments electronically. So the idea is that by about 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll give out assignments. And if I give out an assignment on Tuesday, it'll be due on Thursday at 11.05 p.m. electronically somehow. And if I give out assignments on Thursday, they'll be due the following Tuesday. And there'll probably be some other due dates in there, but that's the general idea here of how I'm looking uh, at it. There's also some extra credit assignments that I'll be putting together. Um, and I don't really know how that's going to work exactly, but I'm obviously watching a bunch of movies and reading stuff about the event and related events. So I can put together some pretty easy stuff for that that you can do if you're interested. Um, I already did assign a book about the Spanish flu called Pale Rider, and so if you're interested in doing that, uh, you can actually just ignore the previous due dates because everything's up in the air now. So um, just go ahead and start that if you haven't already started it, started it or finish it if you are still working on it. So Pale Rider on the Spanish flu is still available and now to everyone because all bets are off as to how this all works. Um, and I got time for grading. All right. Um, and so f the idea here going forward is that, as I said, there will be due dates. And the idea of the due dates is mostly just so that this kind of learning actually does make some sense. Uh, you do need to kind of do things in a particular order. And so I'll lay it out like that. And the due dates will be real. If you don't do it, you won't get credit for those assignments eventually. Obviously, I can't hold you, um, uh, to anything, honestly. But um, if you do want a pre-credit for the work that you're going to have to do later, you're going to have to do it the way I want you to do it on deadline. And that'll also keep you uh, in stream with the other people. So when we do like online discussions and other things, uh, there'll actually be somebody discussing because if it's just you all working independently, completely without contact with each other, that's not going to work very well. So uh, I'll try and keep it as much like a real community as I possibly can. If you do miss a unit, um, then what you're going to do is just wait till the next unit starts again. Um, I'm going to try and keep the units like real school units, but they'll be broken out a bit in uh, the sense that they don't really relate to each other. So uh, rather than have a whole bunch of people doing things at various times, which would be honestly impossible for me to keep track of and grade, uh, I am going to do deadlines and all that other business. And so, um, like I said, if you miss a due date, cause you know, something happens, you go on vacation, <laughs> uh, something otherwise happens, uh, just pick up when you're ready to pick up the next one and you'll get credit. Like I said, when we get back to average everyday school, whatever that's going to look like. All right. Um, and obviously I might have to change all of these rules as we go along. So this is just what I'm thinking Monday, March 16th. Um, and basically the bottom line here is if you do this stuff in this class, then you'll get pre-credit for later work that you're going to have to do to make up however it is we do possibly do that. Um, and I would point out also that like, even if we do cancel a lot of school, you're still going to need to know how to do things and learning goes on and eventually you'll be 30 and you'll need to know how to do something in a job or something. So, you know, why not learn now while you have nothing better to do? How many hours of video games can we all play? Four or so for me. Um, and the last thing I would say is do try and build yourself a little reasonable schedule. Don't just, uh, you know, do things at random hours all the time. Like, I actually shaved. I put on a real big people shirt um, and built this 
bizarre little studio. So um, anyway, do try and keep yourself a little bit on track and professional. Keep you from going stir crazy and uh, make things make a lot more sense. All right. Uh, there will be a lot more videos and a lot more coming. Um, I'm going to try and get the first stuff out tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, that'll be the 17th at 10 a.m. And so you can check in on uh, all the various places I put stuff. There'll be another video for that. And get started. That's it. Thanks. And I'll see you around.